Welcome back to John Boy and Jake TV. It's Friday, so we will be watching whatever, as you know, because you saw. We're doing another threes a crowd mm -hmm. because uh, this show's wild and a very short run because it got canceled because it got a lot of backlash. So let's. Uh, Nobody knows on. why. No, no. I, I, it's the pilot for syndication. Yeah, but they they I mean, they must have recorded They've like said five. That before. Yeah, okay. they must have recorded a batch of five, and that's all they got. Done. Okay, and then they rebrought it back in the nineties and tamed it down a little bit. I think. Boring. But here we go. Let's just dive right in. Ages in Hollywood, California. It's three's a crowd. <laughs> yes, it's three's a crowd. Yes, Look at those moving one. booths. So unnecessary. <laughs> it's pretty advanced. They're like bumper cars. Husband number one is an automobile lease manager from Dayton, oh, Ohio, man. who complains that his secretary can't spell. Please welcome Don Reed. <laughs> Little giggle. Not like for that. nothing, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, Dwight True. He's the branch manager North Dakota. I'm excited for him. He's off putting. Business and oh, Mr. look at that. Burberry, Burberry, Burberry. For Steve Moran. I like this I crop. like this guy a lot right now. I like Steve. I like this crop. No, I, the middle dude's weirding me out. Off oh, obviously. He's from the Dakotas. Sorry to all our fans from the Dakotas. Ah! Picture what the 70s and the Dakotas were like. Thank you. Looks at the camera. Ah! There you are, camera. Will it be his wife? Or will it be his secretary? Whichever team does, the wives or the secretaries, that team will divide $1,000 cash. Between them, the fun and excitement, we will start at right $333. Three's a crowd. Nope. Hard cut. They cut to commercial there? Secretaries have been secluded it's too quick. Now, when they return, they're going to be trying to match what you've said. Each question is worth one point. Oh, the secretary yes. against the wife. It's like Robert California and Joy Church I don't think you realize is. how much Burberry Since that is. you have is. known her, how many times have you been to your secretary's house or apartment? Uh, Steve, let's start with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> haven't yet. There you well, go. No, I haven't. None. 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 Okay. Hell yes, Good Steve. answer. Well, my wife's going to think it's more, but actually it's only been once, and that was with her, so I'm safe on this one, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> See? Okay. That's a man from the one. Dakotas. And done? Well, <laughs> oh, it could cause a divorce, but uh, uh, I've been there about 45, 50 times. <laughs> In the last two months. In the last two months. Five or fifty. I need just one figure. Oh, fifty times. Fifty times. Next question. Oh boy. <laughs> what is the most unusual personal little nickname that you have for your secretary, oh, Gary? Oh Jesus. Well, once you see Barbara, if you get the opportunity to see her standing up, you'll see why I call her Sponge Buns. I mean, everyone has squeezed a sponge, right? Yes, but that's it. And done. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's so great. <laughs> so we thought it was a product of at times. But Sponge buns. Yeah. I mean, I'm guessing she you got just want to squeeze it. She got big fat ass. I thought it was cellulite at first. That's also what I'm guessing. It like it's like big. Fat I cellulite. think he was making a a hip Dakota joke at the time. Like you see a sponge, you just want to squeeze it. <clears throat> anyway, he's talking about her ass, and he's talking about squeezing. It. His assistant's And ass. this guy who's on the screen didn't give any reason for going over to the assistant's but house. He Wasn't did like, say it's he, probably going to cause a divorce. She, <laughs> li she lives close and we have lunch there or nothing this, like that. This dude wants a divorce, ah, heard about the show, this is the setup. and he is trying to get divorced. This is the setup. Okay. Uh, you know, right before the sponge buns. You got one of them sponge butts. Sponge buns. Mm, sponge buns. Right before the sponge buns, I was going to say that I actually liked Dwight. He was winning me over with his first answer. But uh, You're going to get real answers from him. Yeah. He's a real person. Uh, this is just crazy, hmm? man. Little sex. That's yeah. A, that's a nickname. Yeah, it sure uh, is. <laughs> what? He calls her little sex. Just Lizzie. Nike has <laughs> I love uh, this guy, yeah. Something other than her name, Steve. Oh. Her I'll name. Just, uh, sex pot would be the best thing I could think no! of. No! Oh, Steve! Steve! Your guy! Steve! Sex pot! <laughs> we thought he was playing it straight. <laughs> Gentlemen, what is the funniest? How about, him, him, how about him going Lizzie that's and they're like, tough. that's just his That's, that's her human name. name. <laughs> just her name, that's Steve. That's her name. 
Oh, okay, I'll go with sex. Tough. So we got sponge buns, sex pot, and little sex. Sign of the times. You think uh, it's a little fucked up. Jesus. Funniest thing you've ever told your secretary about your wife. Funniest Guys? thing. I, I believe it's, um, I know it is. I believe it's where we made love the first time. You told her where you made love the first time. Yeah, that's a little strange. Okay. It's the back of a Cadillac hearse in a drive-in theater. <laughs> With a man buried in the ground. I didn't even have to ask, Steve. What? What's happening with this guy's trying to get divorced? I don't know. Did he just say with a man buried in the ground? He did say that. I think that was his defense like it was cool. Like we didn't have sex in the hearse with the person with us. Oh, he's saying that he's saying the yeah. guy was the, the the back was empty. Yeah. Is what he's saying. It was an empty hearse. So it's cool. It's cool now. Okay, yeah, well I, I see why he tells people. That's a weird I'm story. interested to see if his if him and his wife have a funny rapport or if it's just the end. She might sock him. Uh, I think they're going to have a good rapport. Just that my wife doesn't wear underwear under nylon sometimes. And one day she bent over and I pointed that feature out. Dude, this show is fucked up. Yeah. To whom did you point that feature? My secretary. secretary. Jim? Yeah, that's the whole game. Well, the Jim. whole fucking question, host what the nickname was for my own wife and my secretary could not believe that I actually on national television said that her name was Jello Buns because it wiggles <laughs> so I would say she had poor knowledge that that was going to be exposed on national television before everyone else saw it <laughs> so this guy calls his wife Jello, Jello Buns, Buns and his secretary Sponge, Sponge Buns, Buns. What's more flattering? I hope they both come out and just have the flattest ass ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nothing. Yeah, but a North Dakota Ooh, uh, yeah. three yeah, is a New York City zero. What's the saying? Anyway. Something like that. These guys, all, these guys are all blue. You told reverse. your secretary that your wife's yeah. nickname, nickname was... Sponge... Oh, excuse me. That's her name. Jello buns. <laughs> you being a rut there, don't I like you? buns. Husbands, thank you very much for your... <laughs> I, like I like buns. buns. I like buns. <laughs> Dude, this show's fucked up. I thought Steve was doing a good job, and then he's blue. So these are the secretaries? Not even going to get to see all these buns. She wasn't excited at all. They both own cats. Secretary number three hails from Mexico City and claims all her boss does at work is walk around. She has no pets at all, and she's Liz Flores. No pets. Big smile. Thank you, John. Husbands, we've recorded your answers as you know. You got those cards in your laps. Every time your secretary matches one of your answers, her team will they win a point. Like. Gals, remember, it's the team with most points at the Number end of the two. game. That will divide that ten thousand, that one thousand oh. dollar. We, we sometimes just increase it in the spur of the moment. One thousand dollar cash prize. Ladies, here's your first question. Since you have, since your boss has known you, <laughs> since your boss has known you, Jesus. how many times has he been to your house or apartment, Kathy? Um. About 50 times. Jeez! Times. Don told us it was 50 times. That's the point. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be messy. Do very nicely together. <laughs> Barbara? Well, after that, I feel like a dud only once. Only once? Oh, wow. And Gary said it was only once. That's and right. this is, should be an E. Whoa. What? <laughs> Whoa! Playing, Wait, hold on. Rewind it. Gary said, "You know what, Jake? This has got to be." What's not, happening? It's not only a rewind here; it's a slow mo. I mean, this is a slow mo. It was Whoa. only one. He goes in That's hard. Sick. This should be an easy zero. What about you? How many times has Steve been to your house or apartment? He's never been there. It's too far. <laughs> we live too far. Oh, Steve told us 
He's never been there. I mean, hell of a round. A sweep. A sweep. Great 50. showing. Has me kind of freaked out. Next question. Girls, what is the most unusual personal and the nickname kiss. that your boss has for you? Please and don't get let me this see. right. Barbara, let's start with you. If, if he doesn't get this right, it's got to be Sponge Buns. <laughs> uh, the wives are in for hell. He calls me that about every hour on the hour. Hey, Sponge Buns, come on over. You're looking at her ass? Oh, oh, my God. Is that a touch? He just grabbed her ass. Sponge Buns, come on over. That's... <laughs> I don't know, Jim. It's not really funny. This one's this This episode's going from not funny to just highly creepy and upsetting. I mean, either we've got full swingers or full Except over here we do. He says I always dance in the office, so he's called me Disco Liz. Disco Liz. I mean, he's going to hold up sex pot here. We we will accept that. Steve told us his little nickname for you was Sex Pot. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You little sex pot, you. And Kathy. I said Lizzie. Um. <laughs> I wish I knew what she said. <laughs> Fully at, out on the joke. I mean, what could it be? Don told us that his uh, his little nickname for you was Little Sex. <laughs> like, what could that have been? It's either like F Buddy or Little Fucker, Little Pussy. Do you think there's any way we're going to be able to? Um. I want to read lips. It but sounded like. <laughs> I think he's a little pussy. Yeah. <clears throat> For you was little sex. <laughs> I think it was some pussy. Hmm. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. What'd he say? Friendly Thank you, Jim. Man. Jesus. Girls, what is the funniest thing? I want the funniest this thing your boss shows. has ever told you about his wife. I need you to be quite specific. Liz? Oh, uh, this, um, this happened just recently. She went to Las Vegas and got so drunk, she lost, she lost her money and they had to take her up. Dude, this story, this, they always do this question? <laughs> Because it's three embarrassing stories about the wife. Lost her money in Las Vegas. Lost her money in... Because she got drunk. Drunk in Las Vegas and lost her money. Steve Bombed. said the funniest thing he ever told you was that she once failed to wear underwear under her pantyhose. And he mentioned that to you. Oh. <laughs> Here's better. <laughs> She's like, you shouldn't have said that about your wife, man. Um, when they were on vacation and... <laughs> They were fooling around in the ocean, and she didn't think anybody was watching, but people in the hotel could all see, and they were watching. And when they got out of the ocean, everybody applauded. Yeah, he made that story up. So anyway. there's two sex stories been told about his wife without her being there. Right. This show's disastrous. Don, what did you tell us? You told us the funniest thing you ever said to Kathy about her was that you made Whoopi, Whoopi. in a purse. <laughs> That was just before the ocean. <laughs> She's got the. She knows the timeline. Chronological order. What is the funniest thing Gary ever told you about Lori? I would have to say Gary's wife is very much the professional salesperson, very good salesperson. And on one of her calls, she was giving her big sales spiel and doing a great job. And the customer kept saying, "No, I don't have time. You know, I can't be bothered." And she just kept on going and finally handed him her card, and he just took the card and threw it in the trash. And she went and said, well, you know, hey, could How I... How do you put that on a card? card back out of that's, what he, that's what they wrote. So she retrieved her calling yeah. card from the trash. Gary told us the funniest thing Jesus. he ever told you about her was that he told you that her nickname was Jello Buns. <laughs> he's, he's a Buns man. Uh -huh. I like hair. Buns. Get up the hair. <laughs> I... 
There goes one, huh? <laughs> what do you say? You're on your own, Gary. There goes it's one. I think that was their first one wrong. Oh. If we bring oh. up the wives, we'll see how well they match up with their husbands. First, Johnny Jake is going to tell you about some gifts for our runners-up no, no, no. and for the husbands. Johnny? No, I mean, the this show is bad and it's fucked up. Makes me feel so dirty. Turtle Extra, that's a great name. Good shell. Get Would it? you rather Extra Turtle? No. Now you can create deep dramatic textures like a professional with Rough It by Z-Brick. Okay. What is that? Static cling. That's like for the Eliminate wall. Static problems. It's like wall text. Static, static pan, cling. Stick, cling. Control static spark. Check Eliminate static. static. Is when has this ever been needed? Convenient. Yeah, you got now static. Spray yourself for static? Yeah. What? Now let's be alive. Hey. Wife number one. Is also a working oh, secretary. No. Two favorite pastimes are shopping and sex. Probably in that order. Let's hear it for Phyllis Reed. Her favorite pastimes she are shopping, shopping and sex. sex. She she's an account representative and she's into shopping and skiing. Lori Shalaboy. AKA Jello Buns. Wife number three also owns her own business. She enjoys dancing and all sports. Look how nervous this dude is. Yeah. They're not sitting close. I don't know. I'm worried. I'm just worried right now. That dude has done the least wrong, but he feels like he's in the most shit. Just worried. This dude's begging for a divorce. We'll split the $1,000 cash prize. Here is your first question, ladies. Just worried. Since he has known her, how many times has your husband been to his secretary's apartment or home? And Kenny, we'll start with you. If it isn't zero, there's going to be a problem. Zero. Zero. And Steve told us there's going to be a problem, Steve. No. Zero. That's the point for the wife. And they're back. Just like that. I like her hair. And Liz said it was zero. Hell yes. Lori, all the time he's known. How many times has Gary been to Barbara's yeah. home or partner? Just once with me. Okay. Just once with you. Boom. And Gary told us it was just Great. once. Awesome, dude. And Huge. Barbara, and think? skip. Just once. <laughs> and just like... <laughs> oh, no. you're so Don't fucking fall. creepy. Don't dude. He ruins it. Kathy's apartment. Uh, I'd say once. Oh. 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 <laughs> About once. Huh? Once. That I know of. Okay. Oh, no. Don told us it was... Uh, how many times, uh, Don? I can't quite remember. <clears throat> Fifty times. <laughs> Help Just you. uh, <laughs> I drop papers off. The sure you do. Well, I'm sure you do. I pick the kids up to go swimming. How's that? No way. <laughs> Kathy told us that Don has come to this her is... home apartment. How many times, Kath? <laughs> Fifty times. <laughs> what for, Kathy? Same, same reason. Business. Yeah, I know. Business. Business. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad business, you're laughing. Monkey business. <laughs> Just keep laughing. Oh. Next question, ladies. Yo, I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. What is the most unusual <laughs> personal little nickname <laughs> that your husband has Ah, fuck his this secretary. one. And Lori, let's start with you. Little nickname that uh, Gary has for Barbara. Little nickname. SpongeBob. <laughs> what? That's what I can think of. There's another one, but I can't think of what it is. Gary told us the nickname was. SpongeBun. Another point for the wife team. You got it right. And Barbara, when asked on the point, said SpongeBun. Yes. <laughs> Why does he keep going in for the? Baba Wawa. Baba Wawa. Bubbles. Because she's bubbly. Bubbles. Dude, bubbles. Right. I don't want to watch she's this couple relevant, anymore. But she's bubbly. No. <laughs> I feel so bad for this nice woman. This, yeah, you gotta do this, Dan. <laughs> Little sex. Little sex? That was mine. Use the same nickname, Don, for your secretary as your wife? Not only is that gonna upset her, but she's losing. <laughs> and Kathy told us the, the nickname was... The, well... All I can do is tell you that the, bitch? the nickname begins with a B. And that's about all I'm going to say about that one. Bitch? Let us talk to Kenny. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know. They'd say um, but. Kenny, what is the nickname that the bitch, Steve has for Liz? Yeah. I don't think he has one, but I think if he had one, he'd probably call her something like Foxy Lady. 
Okay. But foxy yeah. lady. Steve told us his nickname was Sex Pot. Oh, it's close, huh, judges, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She's having fun. Don't okay. show me the other couple ever again. Disco. <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> she should have. We're going to be right back. We will be asking our wives the final all important question. We're going to do it right after this word. So stay with us. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm tense, dude. I don't. This dude's He's fucking creeping. He's still really tense. Yeah, but the middle dude is loose. He's having a blast. Yeah. He kisses his secretary. Your final question here. All what the time. The funniest thing. More than his wife. Now we're going to have two sex stories about this poor woman, dude. You. I think she's going to like Phyllis, it. I think it's going to be a bounce back for no. her. Told Kathy about you. She's the sex lady. God, no. Uh, Come on. I would say the first time that I got drunk. You want me to tell you why? Well, I'll, the so, first time I got drunk, I wasn't used to drinking. Hearse. We were driving in a car. It was in Columbus, and um, I had to go to the bathroom. So okay. I tried to go out the window. I yeah, like that. It's a game of angles. Now here's two stories about you having sex. I in the salesman in the car with me. <laughs> Don, well, sure, that's, that's a good answer. Don told us the funniest thing he ever told Kathy about you was that you made Whoopi in a, in a hearse. Oh. See? No. <laughs> And Kathy said the funniest thing she remembers hearing from Don about you was that, Kathy, that you fooled around in the ocean. Okay. You did. You did. He told me. You a little kinky there. <laughs> See, it's all fun and giggles on that team, Jim. The binoculars. Did you fool in the hotel? Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't swim, and he got me out in the ocean. It was a mess. He got to. Oh. He did. <laughs> Kept going further and further in the water. Barbara? What is the error actually about? Boy, the he tried to drown you, I think. What is the funniest thing yeah. that, uh, that Gary ever told Barbara about you? The way I snore. <laughs> oh, innocent little <laughs> jelly <laughs> butt. Snore. And Gary said it was that he told Barbara that your nickname was Jello Buns. Hmm. I thought it was going to be Nag. <laughs> Well, you're that, too. You are an No, I'm not. <laughs> See, she snores at night like this. She goes... <laughs> and I go, God, if that doesn't sound like a nag. Well, oh. That's me. Barbara told us the funniest thing that Gary ever told her was that uh, you retrieved your calling card from the trash after someone had dropped it in there on a sales job. That happened, too. That's humiliating. <laughs> Humiliating. She was probably nagging on the sales call as well. <laughs> oh. Jenny, Jenny, what's the funniest God thing Steve ever told you? Damn it, I hate this show. Um, oh, there's so many. Probably, um, probably that we that we made Whoopi in the hull of our boat. That's cool. In the hull of our boat. You know, it's a very small area. Uh, maybe that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, was it funny? You were there. You should have been there. <laughs> you should have been there. Steve told us the funniest thing he ever That's told us joke. about you was that you sometimes failed to wear underwear under your pantyhose. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Some you have to see to believe. <laughs> That's not funny. It was. Getting like Jennifer Lawrence vibes from her. The whole uh, office you told? Look, she she's strides I'm going to go out. <laughs> yeah, mixture, maybe. Liz told us the funniest thing that Steve ever told her about you was that you got tipsy and uh, lost a lot of money in Las Vegas. Oh, that's right. That was sad, though. That was sad. <laughs> it was. Sad. She's been, great. Been there. In my room. She wasn't with me. And somebody helped me to my room, and I had all kinds of black chips. And I woke up this morning, and they weren't there. You really That's better than the way, the way she told him. Let's count up the, uh, count up the scores. We've got the wise with three points. The secretaries have four points. That means the secretaries will divide the $1,000 cash prize. Congratulations. We find out who knows who bets. The secretaries do. This is Jim Pack. Please join us next time right here on Screen the Crowd. See what happens. Bye-bye. It's such a... Oh. She doesn't want... He tries to, like, get jokey with her, and she's like, nope. Dude, it's 
It's so insane that they only win $330, and it's so insane that there's no buildup, there's no climax. It's just let's fucking ruin these people's lives, embarrass the wives on national TV, and then leave. It's it's one of the more fucked up shows. And, uh, you know, the producer got blackballed from Hollywood because of it. And um, I feel really bad for that yeah. first wife, that's man. The, uh, that's the last episode we'll watch. I, there's a couple more, maybe, but I need to take a little break from. It. I need to clean myself up. Yeah, that sucked. That guy was. That guy's a dick. Yes, it goes dick, creep, honest, good guy. I think. Yeah, good guy of the times. Still. Of the times. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Ugh. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Three's a crowd. What a, what a show. <laughs>